It is currently 5.10 in the morning right now. I just woke up about 40 minutes ago. And um, I think we are gonna go try and catch ourselves some keeper stripers. All right, that was kind of a soft intro there. Um, but yeah, what we're doing today is uh, we woke up pretty early. Um, that way we can get, hopefully, on the striper bite up at Long Lomond Harbor in Santa Fe. Uh, of course, uh, I'll kind of show you how we get to the spot, like, like usual. Um, but yeah, we're, we're getting up early, about two to three hours before slack, low tide. Uh, so it's going to be uh, outgoing, yes, outgoing tide. Um, and this is what we got working with, or this is what I'm working with today. Um, you can really barely see it because it's bringing it into the light. Uh. Alright, as we, we have the, my Shakespeare Ugly Stick with the Pun Battle 24000, 20 pound parade, and attached to that is a little lure that I got in the MTB. It's actually a bass fishing lure. Um, it's a little, sp I think it's a, a spook of some sort. Um, and I, I you walk the dog with it across the top of the water, and that's what I'm going to be using until really the sun rises, and then I'll switch to a swim bait. And uh, Jack is going to be using... I'm going to be using my pen metal, or my ugly stick, and she's real. Uh, we're using a popper because the last time we went there we had like perfect top water conditions, and so without actually looking at the water, I'm suspecting that we're going to have relatively good uh, top water conditions and last time the pop worked so I'm gonna try and do that again. Oh that took a weird turn. Oh yeah. No. Okay, so you clicked on this video because you wanted to see bluegill fishing and uh, in the beginning there I, I started talking about stripers. Uh, and that was because the original plan for this morning was to head on over to Loch Lomond Yacht Harbor and fish for some striped bass, but uh, it's completely closed. Uh, there's, you really, they really don't want you in there. Um, so we decided to come to this place right here, McGinnis Golf Park Pond. Uh, not many people know about it, believe it or not. Um, and it is a fishing gem um, because it has bluegill, bass, catfish. Um, so we, we came, we didn't even have any real bass gear. Um, and so we came up here and we see these bluegill just stacked right in the shallow water. So we pitched out some lures and this is what happened. Didn't even want it. Oh, I just got, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. And there we go. That's bluegill number one. That is a chunk of a bluegill. Um, that was not what I was expecting to be catching today. But um, I will take it. Okay, so that is a bluegill. Um, it's, a, it's a kind of sunfish. Uh, yeah, he's a little bit dirty. Um, I'm gonna wash him off right now. But uh, it's the first fish of the day. And it's that, that bluegill, like, was a fighter, too. Yeah, I know. They don't seem to be one anymore. That's my first time catching a bluegill on an artificial. Oh, that's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, that's bluegill number two. These fish are very fired up. This is a better, uh, you know, video of this beautiful sunfish. Uh, really, really big out here. As you can see, tons of really, really cool colors. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna give this guy a bit of a special release because, you know, Alright, he 
he'll be fine. Oh, yeah, they want this thing. Oh, no, fine. I'm on, I'm on. What? No, it came off. No, dude, he came off. I made a perfect cast. Damn, bro. God damn it. Okay, so in today's uh, bass and bluegill fishing video, it was just me and my brother, and, and the last couple of videos are just been me and my brother, and wow. My brother's a cool fishing buddy. He's not part of this channel, really. He's not like a co-founder. Uh, the other one is my best friend, Zach. Uh, and we haven't been able to see each other because of Corona, but uh, today, he's here. What's up? <laughs> okay, so what you just saw was me and Zach kind of hanging out. We were doing it all safely, legally, social distancing, so don't worry. Uh, if you enjoyed today's content, please like and hit the subscribe button. It means a lot.